Hi, this is Bernard Wiemann and in this tutorial I will show you how to cut out the tree from a digital photograph with GIMP. First I open up a photograph, then I crop it to the desired size and name the layer. The method shown here uh, requires the tree uh, being shot against the sky uh, because it takes advantage of the background having blue tones and the tree containing red and green tones. Now I create a working copy and name it as texture and then I create uh, two background layers, one white and one black, to check later uh, the transparency against it. Now I go to the channels and create a copy of the blue channel and then I use it as layer mask. As you can see the mask is currently inverted so I have to invert the colors so that white gets black and black gets white. The mask currently contains grey shades, but I just want pure uh, transparent or opaque parts, so I apply a threshold here. I have to adjust that the point is the way I like it. In case there are some seams left over around the tree, which you cannot get rid of with the threshold, you can alternatively uh, Select everything which is not transparent and shrink the selection and then get rid of it this way. Now I'm going to clean up the rest of the background. For this I paint to the mask with black and a sharp brush.
we are almost there so let's talk about some specifics about using this then as real texture when you want to use it as texture in Torx you will uh, scale it down to a usual texture resolution uh, after you have done that you have again semi-transparent pixels so you need to threshold alpha on that new file again such that pixels are either transparent or not additionally you will need to name the file as example 3 underscore n dot png or rgb uh, if you do not name it like that it is mapped and this can introduce uh, black seams in the rendering but uh, you can look in other tracks how it's done there, uh, for example in Wheel 1 or E-Track 3. Let's review the result. Yes, I'm happy with it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe see you another time. Bye!